Hey guys, I just back with another market analysis. So it looks like the uh, the CPI numbers uh, were less than expected and less than previous. Actually, not uh, for the month. It wasn't less than previous. For the year, it was, which is is probably a good thing because it's showing that inflation is going down in the states. Uh, so pretty much that that gave uh, that allowed a lot of that allowed a lot of traders and banks to go short uh, the dollar strength index today. As you can see, uh, non-U.S. currencies had a big spike. Stock market had a big spike. as well uh maybe bitcoin and if you're, uh, the crypto space getting a little bit of i, I did see a, a signal yesterday so there was one here open at 7 11 71 target of 12 15 area or so somewhere in the middle uh that one was pretty good oh, I, I still think that crypto is is more dangerous to trade because it just dumps and spikes so be careful with that uh, so pretty much there could be some really good trades coming on uh either today maybe not with the holiday so for sure by next week uh, hopefully it'll be today or tomorrow we could see a retrace on uh non-us currencies sorry we could see a retrace on Pretty much U.S. currencies, U.S. majors, even miners are. Looks like they're having a lot of uh, volatility. So this caused a lot of volatility. Uh, have a look at uh, the dollar yen. Could be a nice trade here. Back up. It's really it's it's when it's nice and it's in what's when it's very oversold and overbought. It's usually even better. So it looks like it could be some good uh, opportunities, at least to uh, for some good trades. It looks like almost well, it'll move up a little bit as the time goes on, but those moving averages will move up. But we could see, you know, almost three 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 hundred pips reversals here for the pound, two hundred maybe for the euro, and five to six hundred pips on UJ. So. Big, which will be nice everyone's doubting me in the chat room i think i said i was waiting for a short on the euro and the pound waiting for a long on the dollar yen and people in the chat are like oh yeah i can't wait to take your money it's like well if you're gonna keep if you're gonna continue to long at these levels you're retarded like who would do that but i don't think those people trade algorithms or any strategies they just use structure and support or any like trend lines and stuff so We'll see what's up. So there, there's probably some pretty good trades coming up. The euro pound dumped pretty hard. I didn't get the signal in time. There was a signal here though. Sometime uh, a nice one. So it moved up at first but Eventually came down pretty well, so it opened up as five two one. So more than maybe fifteen pips on that still would have been okay. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, oil, off its lows a little bit. As you can see, we had the signal. Pretty good uh, volatility there for that signal. Uh, lows of 84. Hopefully, we'll continue down today. Be nice to break some of those lower levels we haven't broken yet. Uh, Bitcoin having a little bit of a trade here too. Looks like retracing back to the 20 simple moving average. So we might see some more movement continuation down. The VIX uh, getting pretty volatile here. 
we'll see if we can see a retracement on that. Bank stocks uh, looks like they're pumping today with the with the news. Pretty much all stocks look like they're pumping. Uh, probably pretty much the whole stock market is pumping. Uh, just have a look at the dollar strength index for a sec. It was a pretty big sell off. Looks like we did come up higher than that initial start of the week where we were about there. If you look at the crosshair, we were about there when we talked about potential having uh, some long movement on the dollar. Probably would have moved, continued to move much higher if that CPI was bad. But it looks like uh, we'll probably get some movement back up here later on, somewhere back towards that 10 or 20 SMA. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, thought I'd just do a quick quick recap. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys liked the video, you can like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.